Hey, this is John Sifferman from johnsifferman.com, where I teach real-world strength training. And I got a question about what my typical strength training session looks like, and that's what this video is about. So before I give you, I guess, my template for my typical strength training session, let me just preface this with I don't really have a typical strength training session. There's no such thing for me. Um, what my training session looks like on paper and in, in action is it really depends on what my goals are. And my goals can change every four weeks or every three months. Um, that's usually um, how I do it. I'll set large goals and smaller goals and, and specific timelines to achieve them. So it really depends on what my goals are. So this is just general advice. You know, Take it um, and apply it as, as, you, as best you can in your program. So I normally start my strength training sessions. And by strength training session, I mean I have at least 30 minutes to exercise. Um, I, I want to get a very thorough session in for exercise that's going to help me reach my goals. It's not just a quick workout, 5-10 minutes, um, which there's definitely uses for that. But I have 30, maybe 60 minutes to train, and I almost always start with a joint mobility session. I'll either do a head-to-toe session where I work every single joint in the body, or I'll just work on the key areas, usually like my spine and my hips, if I'm pressed for time. Um, and that's how I'll start every session. Then I'll get into a more specific warm-up where I'm training movement patterns that I'm going to be using during that session. You know, For instance, if I'm going to be doing some squats, I'll start with some bodyweight squats and progress to some trinity squats. Um, you know, Just to warm up those movement patterns, prep the joints and the muscles for the work they're about to be doing under uh, much more exertion. Um, after that warm-up, I get into the, the main portion of the strength training session, the bulk, the real work. And that can look like a ton of different things. Currently, I'm doing density training, um, which is just increasing more volume so I can do more work in less time. But there's so many different things <clears throat> that I plug into my training session and this work portion of it. It really depends on your goals. It would be very hard for me to um, explain how you could do it yourself. There's, there's just so many different ways you can research them yourself. Um, so after the work portion of the session, which can last anywhere from like 10 to maybe 30 minutes, maybe 45, it, it really depends. Um, but that's the main portion of your session. After that's done, you have the cool down portion of the session. And this is arguably the most important part of the session where you're coming back to reality, getting your body temperature back down, and most importantly, compensating for the specializations that you create during that work portion of the training session. So if you're, if you're doing a certain exercise and it has a huge emphasis in your program, you need to compensate for that or else you're going to create imbalances in your body and it will always lead to injury. So I always save the cool down for, for the end and if I don't have time, I'll do it later in the day or before bed, but I don't neglect it. It's probably the most important thing to keep me injury free, pain free, and able to keep training you know, for, for years and for the rest of my life. So this is John Sifferman from johnsifferman.com. Take some of these ideas and I hope they help you out.